What's going on internet? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Harder Gaming. Today I wanted to discuss Battlefield 5. But before that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit the like button on this video. Follow me over at Twitter and Twitch. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So as everyone is probably well aware now, Battlefield 5 is posting their last update to the game in June-ish from what I've read so far. What that essentially means is they are cutting official support for the game. Now, I wanna talk about what they did wrong to get to this point because I love Battlefield. I have been playing Battlefield ever since Bad Company 2 and to see Battlefield 5 go down the road it has has just been disheartening in a way, especially for what I consider to be my favorite franchise. First thing that is obvious that they did wrong was the game did not get off to a great start. When they first marketed the game, they had that messed up trailer where they showed as some what people like to call robot lady. And then they never added specific features that the community wanted, such as custom servers, regular content drops, and the game never seemed to be consistent. Now, what I mean by consistent is they always seem to change the time to kill in the game. That was always their go-to. For whatever reason, DICE and EA thought that changing the time to kill would attract new players in some way. I think I counted twice, maybe even three times, that they changed this time to kill in the game, which turns people off because after the first time that they did it, DICE and EA failed to listen and they went ahead and changed it again. Which brings me to another point with it. They, Dice and EA just never listened to the fan base like they should have. Now they're in this sucker hole to where they have to either deliver with the next game or basically go down the road of Ghost Recon, which I know with that realism mode that Ghost Recon's doing a lot better now. However, we can't argue the fact that the latest game failed to live up to expectations right out of the gate. With all that in mind, all hope is not lost. Battlefield 2021 or 2022, whenever it comes out, there is hope for Battlefield. They need to get it right, though. If DICE and EA are listening, I have some suggestions from a longtime fan on what they could do right. First thing, bring back the old spotting system. That was trademark for Battlefield, being able to hit for me Q on my keyboard to spot somebody it, it it made battlefield battlefield i know that that's opinion based but that was something that was in every game except for battlefield 5 next thing they need to add custom server support again similar to battlefield 4 some of the best times i ever had on battlefield 4 was 24 7 op lock third thing and the most important thing they need to make the game modern again the whole world war one world war two theme has run its course i know as a player base we wanted that for a while from a battlefield experience and they gave it to us but times have changed and now it's time to go back to a modern setting again if you don't want to go full modern, then at least let's make it Vietnam to where we still have modern equipment, modern gadgets, modern guns to keep up with Call of Duty. And this is just an opinion base for this last thing, but if we could get Bad Company 3, that would be great. Anyway, that that is my thoughts on why Battlefield 5 failed and why it's currently in the situation it is right now. I know that arguably the Battle Royale mode could have been a little bit different. Maybe that could have attracted some people by making it free to play, which if Dice and EOA look at Call of Duty, that honestly might may have saved Call of Duty because Call of Duty was having a dwindling player base until Warzone came out. So maybe in the future, if they do want to add a BR to Battlefield in the next game installment, possibly make that free to play to attract new players into the base game another quick thought why i'm rambling in this video already now for almost seven minutes i feel that the frostbite engine has kind of run its course 
with EA published games. I know that Battlefield has looked more gorgeous as it, as it ever has. I just feel there are better game engines out there to develop a Battlefield game versus the Frostbite engine. Anyway, those are my thoughts on why Battlefield 5 failed and what they could do different for the next game to possibly save the franchise and make a comeback similar to the way Call of Duty has this year. Once again, guys and girls, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, follow me over at Twitch and Twitter. Always remember, it's never goodbye. It's only till next time.